Hi student, I am Toton Ghosh from Bordhaman district. It is situated in West Bengal. Today I am going to discuss a poem. The name of the poem is This morning is our history taste. This is also the title of the poem and this is also the beginning of the poem. Okay means this is the first line of the poem and it is also the it is also the name of the poem this morning is our history taste the writer of the poem is ken ken k e double n ken nes beat ken nes beat n e s b i double t okay k n ken nes beat b i double t beat Ken Nesbitt. He is or he was an American. He was an American poet. He was an American poet. And he used to write humorous poems for the children. Now I am going to discuss each and every line with meanings of the words which will be unknown to you. But here if you listen my words and read the poem in front of me then it will be very clear to you to understand now let me begin the poem at first let me recite the first stanza next i will discuss each and every line of the poem this morning is our history taste i have pinned my notes inside my vest Inside my coat, I wrote my notes, including dates and famous quotes. I have written more upon my hand that only I can understand. This morning is our history test. Here the poet is going to give his history test test means examination test means he is going to attend the examination and the examination will be held for history book so this morning is our history test here the poem is concerned with a cheating means as the author is not well prepared means he is not an well read he does not like to read or he does not want to read but he wants to he wants to be promoted to the next class that's why anyhow he anyhow he wants to be promoted to the next class by cheating or any other means means by hook or by crook this morning is our history test i have pinned my notes inside my vest i have pinned pinned means attached I have pinned means attached. Pinned means attached. A T T A C H E D. Attached. Okay. Attached. My notes means I have pinned my notes means the author has attached his notes inside my vest. Inside my vest means inside his vest. Vest means garment. Vest means a garment. Vest means what is the meaning of the vest? Vest means garment. Okay. A garment you can say a garment or a waistcoat which is you can say a sleeveless garment sleeveless garment so I have pinned my notes inside my vest inside my coat I wrote my notes and even he has kept his notes or he has written his notes inside his coat at first he wrote or pinned or attached his notes inside his vest. Next he has written some of his notes inside his coat. Coat means a garment. Coat means it's also a garment. Next. What does what does he or what has he written? He has written this one including dates and famous quotes he has written dates because it's a test of history that's why date is very important for or for history or to learn history 
and famous quotes or famous quotes of some historians means he has written some famous quotes means quotations of some historians some well-known historians and including some dates because dates are very important to learn history next i have written more upon my hand means even he has written some of his notes which he thinks important these notes are written even upon his hand that only i can understand means as he has written carelessly and quickly that's why it is not means it will not be easy for any other student except him to understand the lines or to understand the words and where has he kept means next in my socks and sleeves i stored and in my socks means he has kept his socks means stored at first try to understand the meaning stored stored means pack p s c k e d packed okay e d packed okay packed okay and in my socks and sleeves i stored means i packed my notes the important notes in my socks and even and sleeves sleeves means garment that cover the arm that cover the arm a r m arm next line my scribbled notes in secret code my scribbled notes scribbled means scroll scribble means you can write s c r a w l scroll okay means scroll means write carelessly write carelessly scribed or scrolled means or scribbled or scrolled means write carelessly okay as he was writing or as he wants to write quickly so the his handwriting will not be good for anyone if you want to write quickly so you cannot write nicely that's why scribbled my scribbled notes scribbled notes means hazy notes scroll notes because he has written it carelessly in secret code and sometimes he used to write he usually writes in secret code what is secret code let's try to understand the meaning secret code secret code means suppose there is a long word like apple a p p l e apple as he has no much space in his body so he will use he will write in this way like a sorry a p l a p l means apple for him okay means in this way he uses some of his codes to understand and as this words will take a smaller space than the word apple a p p l e understood in some secret code second stanza i have written down so many names what has he written he has written so many names of whom of winners of olympic games means who were the winners of olympic games he has written the names of the winner of the olympic games next he has written of buildings means names of the buildings next people next places to from tennessee to timbuktu tennessee what is tennessee tennessee it is a state it's a state tennessee it's a state in usa usa it's a state in usa and timbuktu means timbuktu means it's a city it's a city in mali m a l i okay mali okay timbuktu and usa tennessee is it is a state in usa and timbuktu it is in it's a city in mali understood next 
means he means I have written down so many names of winners of Olympic Games of buildings, people and places too, from Tennessee to Timbuktu. Means he has not lived each and every places. Means he has written in his notes each and every places. And he has not left any place. Okay, means wide. From Tennessee to Timbuktu means wide region. Tennessee to Timbuktu means wide region. He has written each and every places. Means as he was not an as he was not a well-read person. That's why he do, he doesn't know what are the importance or what will be the important notes to him or what will come in his exam see or he doesn't know that's why he does not live any places he does not live any place next line i even copied down a piece i even copied down copy down means note down means he has written a piece piece means piece means topic t o p i c Okay, topic. This means topic. Remember it. Means I even copied down a piece on ancient Rome and ancient Greece. Means even he doesn't live the city Rome and even he has written about ancient Greece in his notes which he wants to keep under his garment and he will open it in the exam hall next so he has written about ancient rome ancient greece next plus everything from shakespeare's plays means he has written each and everything about shakespeare's plays plays means dramas to who invented Mionis and who has invented who or, or who had invented Mionis he had written means the inventor of Mionis what is Mionis Mionis you can say white sauce white w h i t e white sauce s a u c e sauce white sauce or let's uh, let us try to understand it clearly means thick you can say thick creamy dressing for food dressing for food made from egg yolks y o l k s yolks oil or vinegar understood so it is a white sauce you can say white sauce Now, last stanza or third stanza. This is the last stanza of the poem or the third stanza of the poem. I came to school so well prepared. The author or the poet came to school so well prepared. Actually, is he well prepared? Was he well prepared? No, he was not well prepared. Actually, he has prepared or he had prepared to make some cheats to do some cheats in the exam hall means as he has kept all his notes under his garment in his palm under his sleeve so he thought himself that he was well prepared actually he was not well prepared i wasn't nervous wasn't scared means i wasn't nervous means the poet wasn't nervous wasn't scared Scared means frightened. F R I G H T E N E D. Frightened. I wasn't nervous. Wasn't scared. Means he was not. He was not nervous and frightened because he thought himself that he was well prepared. But here it is the history test. But here, but here it is the history test. I look inside my coat and vest. I look. Means the poet looked inside his coat and vest. Vest means waistcoat. W a i s t waistcoat. I have told you 
at the beginning w a i s t west code c o a t okay west code to get the data oh, sorry to get the dates and famous codes i look inside my code and waste to get the dates and famous codes to get the dates and famous codes and find i cannot read my notes and he found himself that he could not read his notes so much for shakespeare greece and rome which he has copied or copied down or note down or kept under his garment and he has written some of his notes in his palm but he could not read his notes why this is the reason i left my glasses back at home means he has forgotten to bring his glasses in the exam hall that's why he could not read his notes so here you the moral of the poem you can say that a cheater cannot succeed in life means he will not be promoted to the next class means this is not the right way to succeed in your life sometimes you can you can be or maybe succeed or successful in your life but sometimes you will be failure in your life